Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the crazy black poppy lady. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you back to this week's edition of Throwback Friday. Now, and just to give you a heads up, you are going to see this intro a lot over the next four to six weeks as I'm planning to batch create these videos so that I will have a little bit of a break over the summer holidays. So this little bit, you'll see again so if you need to fast forward links to any of the videos mentioned today will be up above and in the drop back down box down below so the very first video i have up for you today is how crazy is this crazy number two right so today we are here for the second edition of how crazy is this crazy um I'm still working through the questions from video whips and bits 16 I think it is um, so let's pull them up and let's see what the first question is right here we go right so my first one is from Donna and she says what's my favorite genre of music now I've got a really eclectic taste it really does depend on the mood at that moment as to what I listen to so I've got a collection of CDs and yes I haven't gone as far as iPod in it or or any of that other technical stuff I'm still on CDs which is good because it means I can use them in the car um, but it it ranges from dodgy 80s disco bit of 70s disco, bit of 90s disco, um, I've got Meatloaf, Madness, UB40, Queen, Def Leppard, um, see I'm pulling out some oldies for us oldies, um, and then I've got newer stuff, um, oh I can't even think of them at the moment, um, but normally I go for the more, like the collection of now, like the CD collections now and things like that, because it gives you a mixture of all music so you can just skip it if you don't like it because I don't normally go for one um, group over another it is normally I choose a song and I run with that song that's the song I like um, yeah I can't think what I was going to say yeah so for me um, Meatloaf's a good one for travelling down to Essex to see the family because you can put that CD on and it lasts for hours <laughs> hours um but i as i said it, i think it really does depend on the mood i'm in and how crazy to how crazy my uh, music choice is but i do think the best song is whichever one the kids don't want me to sing and learn every word to especially if it's one of theirs <laughs> one of like their all-time favorite bands and i'll come in and i'll be like sing the whole thing or if I knew the original hmm. right so my next one up is from a uh, rune shadow Beth now she asked me to tell you the story about how I started crocheting and how I got into YouTube now I have actually already said that one so I'm going to put a link up there that will take you through to that video because hey, it never sounds good the second time round, does it right so my next one up is from Lynn now she is she asks me what do I do for a living um I don't I live off my husband <laughs> I I used to work in care and I used to work with adults with um, challenging behavior or um, disabled um, so it was assisted living now i absolutely loved the job and i absolutely loved the guys and girls that i looked after but i did the normal thing which happens with quite a few of us carers and care staff and nurses and things i slipped a disc top and bottom for me mind so because of that i'm now on not safe to do the job i'm gonna say i'm with a client and they lose lose a bit of balance instead of me being able to correct it for them I've got to let them drop to the floor and I couldn't do it I would have to play catch and that's how I did the discs so I've had to give that up and now I'm looking for something new um, but 
after 20 years working in care, it's a bit scary trying to think of something new to go into. Right, next one up is from Gridlocks2107. Now they ask, do I like to cook or bake? Um, again, it's one of these, if the house is quiet and there's no one around and I'm feeling adventurous, then yes, the family will get something slightly different. But, um, or I'll sit and I'll knock up a cake and do some crazy design, especially if it's around their birthdays. Um, I like to do something like that, but I wouldn't say I'm very good at it. And if I am designing a cake for a birthday, nine out of 10 times I've gone and brought the sponge pre-made because I'm that lazy, or I burn that many box mixes. And the next bit is, do I have any hobbies? Um, my hobby is crochet now. It, at one point it was photography. So hopefully I'll be able to mix the two so you get some half decent <laughs> photographs of me of the work that I'm doing, but there's no guarantee is there with me. Right, and the next one up is from Laurie. She asks, what places have I lived in? Right, you'd think, because my husband was in the army, we would have got to have travelled all over the world. Nah. We um, got to live in Wiltshire, in Hampshire. In Wiltshire again. Then we went across the water to Wales, <laughs> where we uh, bought a property and lived there unaccompanied for a couple of years. But it, living unaccompanied didn't suit me and the girls at that point. So then we moved back into military accommodation with my husband and that's when we moved to Gloucestershire and we've been here about 10 years now and that leads me really nicely into my next question from Julie she um, says why did I get involved involved with the poppy appeal right so about five nearly six years ago our, um, my local branch of the Royal British Legion put a shout out because they'd sadly lost one of their um, gentlemen who was a collector and so they needed someone to fill in his space and um, he'd put a shout out um, on Facebook and I thought well let's find out a bit more about it because um, I'd never offered to do anything voluntary before so got in contact with them and they sent me back a message and we were to and froing for a little bit just so they could get to know me and I could get to know them a bit more. Now, that's where it all started. I started cl collecting on the tables. I was one of the, the guys that, and girls that just stood there smiling and saying, like, pick up what you like and pop your money in the tin. And, um, and it really suited me because it meant I got to meet a lot of um, people that I wouldn't have normally met. Um, so it was really, really nice to be able to do that and then about four years no three years into the collection I had a gentleman come up and he was looking at the knitted poppies that some of our local girls make and um, it said oh these are really lovely but it's a bit too feminine for me I was hoping to find something to put on my cap um, that if it got wet it wouldn't sort of shrivel up and that led me to thinking well maybe I could find a um, a poppy pattern and make a poppy so I spent about two or three weeks searching for for the right pattern and I finally came across the one that I've modified and shown you and shared with you and I made a few and I took them down to my local legion and I handed them over and I said what do you think and they were like these are lovely 
how many do you think you'll make? And that's when I explained the story of what my husband had done. And, and of course, they're giggling away and they're like, well, if you manage that, that would be absolutely amazing to, to receive a thousand. But just do what you can. Because, of course, it was all voluntary. There was no money involved. My husband had to cough up for all of the bits and pieces, um, excluding about 50% of the wall because um, our local community actually chipped in and they um, collected the wall for me so that I had had that much. So then that's when the poppies went on the table last year for the collection last year. Um, and then I was still at the table collecting with all the other items that they have now as well. Oh no, I'm out of questions on Whips and Bits Volume 16. I'm going to have to go and hunt for some more now. And the song to annoy my youngest at the moment is the remake of Boney M's Rasputin. Of course, I know the songs because I had that on LP when I was a nipper because my mum had brought it and so she gave it to us. It was only about six or seven, if that, and we had this really weird collection of the the songs that she didn't like basically so when i heard that one on the radio of course i knew every single word to it she was not impressed she's still not impressed even though i've shown her the dance and our next video up is a whips and bits and number 21 right nearly completed whips so yeah it is a whip isn't it it's still work in progress right so as some of you know i am making a couple of cushions and I'm meant to be making a humongous um, blanket as well for my best mate's lad. Now um, I've got, I've completed one of the cushions as far as making up the pattern but I'm using it as a guide for the next one because I stupidly didn't write it down. So this is it as it stands at the moment. Let me just get my folds in the right spot. There we go. All right. So you, the back is just a simple stripe and uh, on the diagonal, yes, we're on the right way, isn't it? <laughs> and then the front is on the horizontal. Now, this is meant to represent a football shirt. So at a later point, we are going to be putting um, the actual shop bought badge on the top section and it will have the wording, the advertising wording, um, in the blue stripe but I'm, I think it's come along quite well uh, Bestie likes it so now I'm making the away kit version which is basically the maroon and blue are swapped round so hence why I've kept that one out and not bothered um, writing it down now I was writing up the pattern for the blanket the other day and then um, Bestie facetimed me and she's like what are you up to you're busy I said no I need a break from, I'm seeing spots and she was like seeing spots and I was like well yep I'm writing up the pattern for the blanket she's like oh how far have you got and I was like well I've got into row 41 or 42 at that point and she's like right okay let's have a look so I've turned my camera around so that she could see the screen and see how many dots I'd, rows of dots I had up the project she looked at me she went and how long has it taken you to get them that many spots and I was like about two and a half hours now and she's looked back at the pattern she's gone like stop it you won't have time um because i hadn't even managed to get quarter of the way through writing up the pattern so that has now been put on pause for a little bit because she knows that i'm meant to be making poppies now to try and get my poppy count up to a thousand for this year's appeal bit of bad news on that one um it may be that due to the virus at the moment um, there's going to be a lot of stipulations put in and there is the possibility that the UK will be going backwards instead of forwards with the virus and the number counts and things so at the moment rules and uh, rules and regulations are changing daily as to what the charity will and will not be able to do so as it stands at the moment Although then we, we're aiming to get tables out, it's only going to be able to be manned, of course, by people that are fit and well and, and younger. And most of our collection people are of a retirement age. So, of course, it may not be safe for them to collect. 
So because of this, I've uh, I've said to me boss, who I shouldn't really call boss because he's in, but I've said to the main hedgeman, I've said, um, basically put me in for as many hours as you need me covering the tables. Because of course, I've been restricted movement, I've, I've not been out, but I am healthy. There's nothing wrong with me. So fingers crossed, it will stay that way. And then I'll be able to pick up as many hours on the tables as they need covered really but it may end up being that I'm on the tables for at least eight hours a day for two weeks. Um, so what I'm gonna to plan to do is do a back catalogue of videos. So as I'm putting them out over the next couple of weeks, if you can stick in your comments, whether you do or you don't like the method that I'm recording things or how I'm doing it, it would really be appreciated. Um, it sounds really strange, but I've um, videoed the first load of um, magazines that I got the other week and they're the Simply Crochet ones. Now this video will be going out later on this week and what I've actually done is a video montage of, I think that's how you say it, but I've basically taken photographs of each of the images for the patterns rather than showing you that and a bit of the pattern because of course I can't show you the pattern but I can show you the picture. So I've taken photographs and I've just, I'm just running them back to back so you can see what's in the book. And I'm hoping you like that method because then I can, over those two weeks, I can release a knitting one and a crochet video so of, of magazines as well as something else. So hopefully I will either have another crochet along or another um, tutorial that I'll have made and put in, um, put in my back catalogue, so to speak, so that I can release them during those two weeks. So at least then you still get to see my ugly mug and hear my annoying squeaky voice. Right, so while trying to film this, my daughter just rang me, so as I couldn't do any editing or anything, I made some stitch markers that way round. They're coming up quite nice today. There we go. That went about 20 minutes, well, no, more than that, wasn't it? She was on for a good hour. She talks more than I do. Super bunt bit of um, happy news is my parcel arrived from America. Now, right, I'm actually doing a swap with um, somebody over in America. So I'm we, we've been waiting for the parcel to arrive. Now, the stats say that it has arrived now on my end. Just waiting for her to confirm and then we will be able to put our um, parcel up. So I can't give you any more details on that because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Now, I also want to say, um, with my breaking news, I try and break it as soon as I possibly can normally. Um, so that's why it's normally either the UK, US or in this case, Australia. Now, US had one a couple of weeks ago and uh, UK, look out, there's one coming your way possibly next week. But what I really love is if um, you spot anything at any of your um, big chain stores in whatever country you're in, um, any really cool yarn deals, any discounts or anything like that, if you could send me an email so that I get it really, really quick um, and then I can put that out and shout it out to everybody else that's in your country as well. And that would be amazing if we can all work as a bit of a team here and get as many, as many of these deals out as absolutely possible to as many of you as quick as possible. It means we can all share the fun and um, and share the squishiness. <laughs> right, so I'm thinking from this point on, the How Crazy Is This Crazy um, series will probably end up being put in as a, a little extra into these videos um, each week. That way I can answer your questions sh pretty much straight away or within the week of you posting them. Um, and also the original videos run out, <laughs> so I've got no more questions. <laughs> Right, so the question that was put to me earlier on in the week was by Say It With Squishy Young Crochet. Now, I do just call her Squishy in my responses back. It makes it so much easier. But um, Squishy asks, um, do my girls crochet at all? And the answer to that is no, they think it's for old people. Yes, aren't they? But um, no, they, they don't crochet. They, my, my eldest is at uni, as you all know, 
Um, she's got too much going on with her uni work and everything like that. Her downtime, she normally spends gaming. Um, and then the youngest one, her downtime, she spends drawing. Um, she's the one that made my little um, poppy brooch type picture that you, you see at the beginning of quite a lot of my video. Well, at the beginning of every one of my videos. Um, she created that for me when she was 14. So we like to um, encourage her with that. So every now and then I'll shout out some crazy picture I'd like her to do and she'll set to it. So that's her thing that she likes to do. Um, and then my eldest one, she likes her cosplay. So she she likes to build up her costumes that way and maybe sometimes do the makeup for them. And some of that makeup is pretty graphic. <laughs> so I can't show you images of that, I'm sorry to say. Right, that is it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I will see you all really, really soon. So if you can, please stay in and definitely stay safe. Ta-ra for now, everybody.